I'm going to be really brave and say this now, but I'm half Irish and I only started drinking Guinness in 2022 when I nursed a half pint throughout 80 minutes of an Ireland-Wales Six Nations rugby game. My auntie makes a chocolate Guinness cake every Christmas and I've been having it since I was about 12, so I thought I'd make a cupcake version. You start by pouring 400 mils of Guinness and gradually stirring in 100 grams of cocoa powder. Then in a bigger bowl, you add 300 grams of butter and 500 grams of sugar together. After that, you slowly add in four eggs and make sure it's really incorporated well. Coming up next, you combine the chocolate Guinness mixture and incorporate everything all together. A lot of people don't like Guinness because it's like really bitter or really dark, but at the risk of sounding like a pick me girl, I actually quite like it, especially when I'm watching the rugby. So now you sift in the dry ingredients and then give it a good fold to try and keep some of the air in there and make sure it, it rises really good and proper. And hey, it wouldn't be a curly cake if there wasn't some mess on the counter that you have to constantly clear up. It's one of my earliest memories on Christmas Day where I would stand on top of a stool when I was younger to uh, supervise that this cake got made properly. So yeah, you just spoon in the mixtures into these little cupcake cases. Um, and then put them in the oven for 20 minutes. It's a little longer than most other cupcakes just because of how dense the Guinness makes the batter. You do the toothpick test to make sure it comes out clean and everything inside is all cooked. Now onto the icing. It's a standard cream cheese icing, normally on red velvet cakes or what have you, but you mix in 200 grams of icing sugar to 400 grams of cream cheese. I promise I wash my hands after every time. <laughs> it made a mess. So the cupcakes are decorated to look like small pints of Guinness, so you fold in some whipped cream to create that foamy, creamy head of the pint. For my best Nigella impression, I think the uh, super sweet icing really balances out the really dark taste of the Guinness, but yeah, cheers.